we do have existing technologies available. We have improved seeds, we have proper quality crop nutrition products, we have crop protection. Why is Africa still facing so low productivity compared to other parts of the world? Well, that's a good question. Indeed, um, if you look at Africa now, uh, we have a lot of the improved varieties, our staple crops from maize uh, to grain legumes, uh, improved varieties. We have, uh, you know, balanced uh, crop nutrition available, you know, blended fertilizers, crop protection. I think the big question is why are the smallholder farmers who are the majority who are producing the food in Africa, why are they not having these technologies? Why are they not using? I think for me, the question needs to be answered in terms of are they aware of these technologies? Uh, most of the varieties that have been you know, released over the years and even the new crop nutrition that uh, uh, is available, it's not every farmer in Africa that are aware about the technologies. So I think one of the most important thing we need to do is to really work very hard to make sure that farmers are aware of the availability of these technologies. And of course, this has to be done through strong extension advisory services. And of course, when it comes to the numbers of extension advisory services, Africa rely mostly on public extension and we don't have the right numbers. But we have to be more innovative, bring in the public private sector extension advisory services. And that's one of the things that uh, Agra as an organization, we have innovated around this uh, private extension, uh, not only just relying on the, you know, just the companies themselves, but also to engage uh, other actors. So we are now, uh, you know, working in what we call village based advisory uh, level extension where you get you know youth uh, who are in the villages these are people who have you know finished their high schools but they don't have anything to do we can bring them back to agriculture to deliver the extension messages around the availability of these technologies but also they can help even to link these technologies to the providers. For example, the companies who are making these technologies available, these people can help, actually the village-based advisor can help bring that gap, making them aware that they are available, but at the same time, they can also help even to bring them, and that becomes part of their business in the agriculture sector. I think the other thing also that we need to uh, make sure that it's, you know, it's we are making to, you know, help farmers uh, take up these technologies, is actually facilitating. Lots of small older farmers are prevented from getting access to profitable markets due to lack of that type of rural agribusiness services being available. The international community for a long time support NGOs and development partners supports this type of development but we don't see development of a viable commercial viable uh, rural agribusiness services many places in Africa. What, what can be done in order to, you know, make uh, this happen? Yeah, small and medium enterprise, they are very important part of the agricultural value chain. And I think now uh, these are what we call the hidden middle. I think they have been hiding, you know, in our value chain. And we had for a long time even having some you know, negative connotation about small and medium enterprise. We think everyone who is a small and medium enterprise is doing a, some, you know, it's an, a school class businesses. But these are very important people. For example, if you look in the agriculture sector, when it comes to delivery of inputs, uh, most of the industries that are actually you know, 
involved in these uh, uh, you know, you know, products, they don't uh, reach to the remote areas. But our small and medium enterprise, if we give them the capacity, first they need to have the knowledge on the products that they are delivering. For example, rural agro dealers. They need to have the knowledge of these products, but also we need to capacitate them in terms of the uh, working capital. Uh, we need to provide even the infrastructure. We need to provide the enabling environment. And I think this is where we need to work also with uh, government. They have a very critical role to play, you know, the policy environment that is going to enable them access affordable financing. They need to make sure that there is provision for infrastructure where they can be able to aggregate even the farm produce that farmers by the end of the day, when they have surplus, it has to reach to the markets that are profitable to enable the farmers to reinvest again in agriculture. So we are now at a point where I think everyone comes to realize that the hidden middle, which is this small and medium enterprise, they have a very critical role to play and I'm glad that uh, you know Agra and many organizations now we are actually working uh, together to really profile these uh, you know small and medium enterprise really coming to discuss in terms of what are the capacity gaps that we can help to strengthen and link them to the farmers our the last mile delivery for bringing inputs but also for bringing the output uh, uh, produce for the processors most of whom are actually in the cities.